Good morning, Bruce Kittle here. Happy Monday. Um, another Mindful Monday with the Hidden Pearls podcast. So I uh, hope you had a great weekend. And thank you for joining me. Let's, uh, let's get seated, I guess. Take a spot, a uh, position that's good for you. So if you're able, uh, if you're on a cushion, sitting in a chair, laying down, whatever works for you, just make sure it's safe. And let's just take a couple of cleansing breaths as we sit in. So we're just going to inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, just a little bit deeper, a little bit more full. And just think as you're inhaling in, just cleansing, grabbing whatever's there that you can let go of and releasing. So let's inhale it in. Exhaling out. Very nice. Inhale in. Exhaling out. And inhaling in. All right, very nice. So uh, if you're seated, uh, comfortable, kind of not painful, if you can do that. And then uh, with the vertebrae or the spine, I guess, firm and straight without being too stiff. So just kind of reach into the sky a little bit, straightening all things out. And as you're taking your seat, just being aware what energy that you're bringing into this space and what what might you want to leave at the door before you start and what do you want to take with you into this experience of some breath work and mindfulness and as we're settling in just again thinking about if it's early in your day maybe things are still quiet and that's great just appreciating whatever thoughts, emotions might be present. If your mind is already spinning and has a list of to-do things, let's just acknowledge that and thank, thank the list part of yourself for making the list, but that will be there in a few minutes. And just focusing on maybe just setting everything down, all the things that you juggle, all the things that you hold, all the things that you strive to accomplish for these next few moments. Let's just be together without having to strive, without having to do anything, without having to fix anything or to change anything. So acknowledge and accept those things that are, and then just let them pass by or just set them down. You can promise to come back, but for now, We'll let them pass. And maybe with another breath, just checking in on your body. If you're holding on to any tension, any spots are particularly tight. Just take a breath or two and release those things to the extent you can. And again, it's all right if not. And if they're just holding on and they're going to do that, which the body will do, then just let it be and let that go as well. So let's take a couple breaths. We're going to inhale wide and exhale tall. Inhaling wide. Filling the lungs, the belly, the chest. And exhaling tall, stretching the vertebrae to the sky. Inhale tall or wide. <coughs> Excuse me. Exhale tall. One more of those. All right, we're going to box breathe in a little bit. So um, we're going to inhale on five, hold on six, and release on seven. You can modify the count any way you need to, but just as you're doing so, just thinking about really holding at the top, inhaling in through the nose, and then we'll hold, and then exhaling out again through the nose on this one as we count it down. So if you need to modify either shorter or longer, please feel free to do so. So inhale, two, three, four, 
five, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, inhaling, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just coming back to your normal breath. And we're just gonna sit together with a little bit of silence. I'll hit the chime every so often just to kind of bring you back if your thoughts are drifting. And again, we're not trying to do anything, to fix anything, to change anything. We're just sitting, we're breathing, we're aware of our breath, and we're just, things that come up, they will just acknowledge, and our, our only effort, to the extent we have any, is just not getting too pulled into those thoughts. So just acknowledge and let them go, and if you find yourself in the midst of them, just say thank you, and again, just return back to your breath, to your body to the being present in this moment, in the space that you are at, wherever that may be, in whatever condition it is. Just being alive, awake, and present in that moment. So, we'll just breathe. So with these breaths, just invite you to uh, kind of stay where you're at, but just returning back to my voice. As we take these breaths together, just maybe bring up and pull up 
just an intention for today, who you want to be, how you want to show up, and maybe a commitment to return to the breath as needed, to trust the breath. Trust the breath is the wind that crosses over the earth, as the spirit that lives within us, the nurturing force that heals us and binds us together. So as we, as we pass through this together, just a little bit more in our loving kindness meta type meditation, I'll close this out with just a few thoughts. So as we breathe in, I breathe in and I am here. I breathe in, I am here. As I breathe in, May I be well. I invite you to repeat those after me. May I be well. Today, may I know joy. As I breathe in, may I no gratitude. And today, as I breathe in, may I know love. We'll hit those one more time. I breathe in. I am well. I breathe in. I am joy. I breathe in. I am grateful. I breathe in. I know and I am love. All right, I invite you. Join me here for a second. So um, today I just want to talk a little bit about um, confrontation. So I've just been really thinking about this a lot, and um, it's kind of the word for my month I've been working and fo focusing and journaling on. And I guess what I was going to say about it is just that uh, this notion of confrontation, not, not in an unruly kind of way, but there's so many different avenues of it. But I guess the focus I wanted to mention today was just, I think the learning edge for me is confrontation with the self. Um, I, I see in my interactions with other people and my connections to others that sometimes I'm easy to fall back into the old stories that I've always told myself. And, you know, we experience things and we get triggered and we fall back into what has always been. And I really had to kind of confront those parts of myself that had either prior experiences that were unpleasant or difficult and want to trap me back into those things, but I'm not that person, and the people I'm with are no longer those people. Not in the same way, because everything changes, as they say, no person ever enters the same river twice, because the river's moved on, and we're a different person as well. So today, just encouragement to be strong, and to be aware, and to be awake, and to be alert, and to not shy away from confronting yourself in those moments where we want to fall back into the old ways of being. Uh, telling ourselves the same narrative, telling ourselves the same old stories. So today you get to choose who you want to be. And so I would confront those in a gentle, non-judgmental way with full of grace, but at the same time just reminding those parts of ourselves that want to fall back there that we're moving on. We're going to be a new person. We're choosing who we want to be today. And that means even the voices in our head and the feelings in our heart that sometimes we have to learn how to let go of those things and to move beyond them and to become something new. So here's to a week of that confrontation and love and grace and forgiveness, and may you have a great one. Thank you.